All right, man. So the story that I want to understand yards. is coming from hockey. You played hockey for like 16 years or something. Yeah. That's a long time to take a pounding. <laughs> yeah, man. it was really long. What was that like on your body? Well, I mean, for, for me, and in, in hindsight, probably I, I probably played like physically above where I should have, maybe even for my genetics, um, and put myself in harm's way a lot. You know, you put yourself in harm's way a ton. Say it isn't so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that kind of, beca- it almost became like my sort of like business model. You know, I, I, it was why I got paid what I got paid and why I was able to keep playing and why other teams wanted me. I played a style that, that was unique, um, you know, blocked a lot of shots, which led to a lot of broken bones and different <laughs> stuff. And then, you know, played physically and sometimes, ha- you know, had to, had to fight. Yeah. Um, so there were, there were a lot of injuries that, that occurred. So it was, um, I tell people this a lot, you know, and this is kind of like Jomo in a nutshell, you know. I got to a point where I had checked every box trying to find something that was going to make me feel better. Yeah. consistently like something a daily driver that I could keep in mind. and I was taking at, at different times in my life pills you know like <laughs> every kind of supplement yeah. liquid ones all kinds of stuff trying to look for an advantage and it really wasn't until I found Jomo that I found something that with consistent use I really started to notice that overall inflammation went down you know I, I told you I have Hashimoto's disease um, I've been prone to all kinds of different tendonitis and tendinosis throughout my life um, which has plagued me always and then with all the injuries and all the plates and stuff that I have in my body, I never really felt quite right. Um, you know, bone on bone and m- mostly in my left knee and, and more than 50% in my right knee. Um, you know, I've got three shoulder reconstructions and my fi- everything. It's like, so if I, when I'm taking Jomo regularly, um, I really feel great. You know, yeah. it keeps, keeps me doing all the things I love to do. So that's what got you into buying the company, right? I mean, you, you literally went from being a customer to the owner. <laughs> it's a great, I think it's a great story because, you know, I, I was, I wasn't even a customer because I wasn't paying for it. The previous owner was giving me product. Um, I was actually getting it through an ART chiropractor that I use in Irvine when I was playing for the Ducks. And um, so the career was winding down and I said to, said to this ART chiropractor, Dr. Christian Barney, awesome guy, made, amazing ART guy. I said, hey, can you get me connected with the owner of this company? I want to go in and like thank him or you know, give him a great testimonial or see how I can return the favor. So yeah. I go in and I start, I start speaking with him and, um, you know, over the next year we negotiated and I ended up buying the brand from him, you know, okay. so he offered it to me in a couple different ways and I'll be an ambassador, my employee or buy the company. And I kind of worked it out with him over the next year and ended up buying the company. After I bought the company, um, I had a real passion for, you know, I think every great business is there because it, it, it's, it's speaks to your core needs in one Absolutely. way or another yeah so in a lot of ways it was self-serving you know i wanted to, i wanted to have the most potent product available and i wanted to stand behind it so i worked through a reformulation process with a good friend of mine named dan frymouth and dan was formerly with affinity flavors and affinity Fla- flavors does a lot of the flavoring for a lot of big companies um, so dan helped me reformulate jomo jomo's really concentrated really potent um, and when I went in and did that process, I realized that when you taste each of these compounds individually, they're either salty and or bitter. So to, to make that in a consumable is really hard to do. Yeah. Um, the, the, the original Jomo was, was pretty harsh on the palate. Yeah. So we worked really hard to, to try to freshen that approach. And then I also wanted to add in some more of the modern joint, you know, and, and anti-inflammatory inclusions, the turmeric, the cinnamon, the ginger, the white willow bark, which is one of the most ancient, you know, pa- painkillers available to people. Yeah. So really put it all back together, um, added some added some new berry concentrates to up the antioxidant rating even higher, and came back to market with Jomo the way you see it today. Uh, that's amazing. You see you hit a couple of balls here, because <laughs> you're not just the guy that owns this company, but you're actually a pretty darn good golfer. <laughs> well, some, some, some days, for sure. <laughs> I, I definitely, I'm definitely passionate about golf. I love it a lot. I don't play as much now, as much now as I, as I used to, but um, I, really, I really do like it. Love Seven, to play with my friends. Nine, I think it's you know, from a business standpoint too. It's a great, great way to spend five hours with somebody. Um, you know, you learn a lot about people in the game of golf for sure, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> it's a it's a character, uh, either a character builder or a character revealer. I for think. sure. <laughs> well, 180 yard, 179 yard uh, seven iron is not too shabby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, play. I used to. I, because I, I probably more the height than anything, but I mean, I used to swing the driver over 130 miles an hour. So oh my God! It really, really used to go, and um, I've kind of refined my, since I retired. Kind of trying to refine my golf game to where I can score better. Yeah, you know, instead of trying it's to going hit it so time. far. But it's a it's a it's a great sport. I mean, it really t- you know checks all the boxes for sure. 100. You percent Challenge yourself like crazy. Yeah, that's got a little little hiss on it. <laughs> Let me see if yards. I can even catch up with that. So. <laughs> 
from your experience now that you've had this company, how long have you had Jomo? I bought Jomo in uh, September of 2014. Okay, so what has been the biggest thing that you've seen now that has been a surprise for you? Like for me, one of the things that has been the most important, actually probably the most important thing about Rotary Swing, I've, I've had it for since 04 now, so 15 mm -hmm. years. And you know, when I started it, it, when I had originally this vision of my head of what I wanted to do with it, surprises came out later on that yeah. said, well, this is actually better than what I thought because I've literally gotten, I don't know, over the years, I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds of emails of people who I've had such a, a surprising, profound impact on yeah. their life because golf golf integrates everything you do, right? Like, Absolutely. It's, it affects your marriage. Yeah. It affects how you feel about yourself. And so for me to be able to take golf and, and teaching people to be able to swing powerfully and efficiently and protect their body has been a huge, huge deal for me because I've had so many guys being in Florida for so long who are injured and they're sore and they're tired after every round of golf. And when I got my hands on Jomo, that was like an impact yeah. for me. It's like, dude, I can go and do stuff. Yeah. Like, what has been, is there anything like that that's come out for you? So that is honestly probably the thing that affirmed to me most that I need to spend my life uh, working on Jomo. Really? I knew what it did for me. So that gave me, um, I, I guess, the incentive that I needed to know that I was standing behind a great pro product. And then, and then from there, like, like how you received, I think you got me, buddy. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you hit 179. That was only 174, but that was my first swing here. I'm warming up. I'm coming. You know, and to, to, go, to go back to market, so I actually pulled off, I actually pulled Jomo off market while I finished up some of the formulation process. Yeah. I refined the distribution. So I really went in the back back behind the business and made sure it was supported um, and then from there so that had to cost you money taking this thing off the market definitely but I wanted it to be right um, and I wanted the formulation to be perfect and I wanted to hit market at the right time so we yeah. we only really re relaunched in December oh wow okay um, but since the new product has been has been back on the market and even the old product to a to a great extent it helps it helps people live Oh, it's starting to go out guys <laughs> listening up. It helps the people live the lives that they want to live. It helps them be able to like, you know, go after that extra shot or play, you know, practice a little bit more, or play harder or hike or whatever, you know, or ice climb, whatever you like to do. Yeah. You know, I love that it, all the people that were reaching out saying, you know, that I can't live without this product. You know, that, that's an incredible feeling, that's you know, amazing, especially yeah. knowing that, you know, I'm, I'm running a fair business and, and, and get, get, giving people access to a product that isn't just a product, but it has a great story behind it. And, you know, you, you've, you've done such an amazing job helping contribute to that story. And that's, and that's really like how I see the model progressing, connecting with, with people, you know, people that are passionate, people that have a great mind body connection and get, getting them situated with Joan. Because at that point, like I'm not selling anything. Like I'm just trying to tell a friend like, Hey, this has worked for me, you know, and I hope it works for you too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what attracted me to the whole thing was there wasn't some chintzy sales pitch behind something. You know, there's so many products on the market today. And the way the businesses are going these days, we're so disconnected from human interaction and everything's a scam and especially yeah. on the internet and you've got all these crazy things out yeah. there. To have somebody that actually will not only put their name behind it, but put their pocketbook behind it yeah. is, is huge to me. And that's what, to me, is the most compelling thing because this isn't something where you just said, hey, I'm, this is a good business opportunity. You're like, yeah. hey, this is a lifestyle thing for me to help people. Yeah. And that stuff just, it doesn't, it, there's not a lot of businesses like that out there anymore. And that, for, sure. for me, Rotary Swing, as you know, it's, you know, it's me and my wife, Christina. Everybody yeah. knows Christina from yeah. customer support. They yeah. talk to her on the phone. They talk to her in emails. Yeah. This is our, this is our life. This is our sure. baby. Yeah. And our customers are our family. That's right. Yeah. And I feel like you're trying to take that exact same approach with Jomo. It's exactly the same approach. You know, my wife Ashley works with me and, and it's just she and I, so we do, we do our best <laughs> to manage everything and handle everything. But it's, uh, we want to run it. We want to run it like a family business. We want to, you know, we want people to yard. feel right when they get the package, when they see the product, taste the product, customer service, all that stuff. Yeah. And, you know, the, 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 I, I said a benchmark for you. <laughs> the, cool, the cool thing, you know, that, that I probably didn't really realize um, that I'm that I'm thankful for now is like how how uh, comprehensive and intensive it is to run a business like this. Uh, there's so many details that I that I didn't know existed. So, yeah. you know, from that standpoint, I've, I, it's also been one of the greatest learning experiences ever, and I continue to learn every day. Yeah, that's amazing. It's, I think that's one of the things that if somebody puts their name behind their business and they yeah. put their their personal reputation, I'm yeah. like, obviously been in the NHL for 16 years. You're not. Exactly under the radar. You yeah. know, people know who you are, know your name, and for you to put 
put all of that reputation that you spent your whole life before this building yeah. and to say, I'm gonna stake it on this product because I believe in it that yeah. much is all the affirmation I need because that's somebody who has the same mindset and approach to doing business because to me it's not I don't look at business as doing business this yeah. business is my life yeah my customers are my life like, that's right and to me if you're gonna stand behind something like that then that's what really matters but of course too I mean I tested it myself and as you know like there's not a yeah. single training aid on the site that I'll put on the site <laughs> yeah. if I haven't experienced it myself tested it myself I won't put my name on it and well you went you went deal. so far <laughs> like above and beyond the testing you know even to send product to, to your buddy just to make sure there wasn't some sort of placebo effect you know? 100%. and I was and I'm and I'm so thankful that you that you put Jomo through the rigors like that because really at that at that point there's 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 no reason why we can't figure out a way to get Jomo in front of as many people as possible yeah exactly for golfers especially with so many joint issues especially when people are you know, struggling with such poor movement patterns yeah for them to learn how to move correctly yeah. it takes a while yeah. you've built the same movement pattern you've swung how many right. times you've swung a golf club the wrong way yeah and so you're going to have aches and bumps and bruises and soreness and kind of things like that. But I think for golf golfers, it's such a huge potential thing for them to be able to not only learn a proper swing, yeah. but more importantly, to go through life every single day and not go, like, oh, God, yeah. it's hard to get out of bed. You know, for yeah. me, I actually get out of bed now. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go. I do it first thing in the morning. I go down to the fridge. It's literally the first thing that I, I take that. every That's single awesome. day. So it's just a routine. I don't have to think about it. I literally, it's the first thing I take. And I'm like, hey, all right, Briar, my puppy, if you've met my, my little Australian Labradoodle, we go hike every single morning, two to four miles every single day. Yeah. And then we go climbing and we golf or we do whatever we've got to do for work that day. But it's just become a part of the routine. Yeah. And for golfers, it's just a no-brainer thing that you can, like, look, this is one of the safest, easiest ways that you can protect your body for the long term because golf's a lifetime game. So you should be able to do this forever. And if you're sore every day... I don't want to go do something that makes me sore every day. I wouldn't play golf if I was sore after the Yeah, golf. you don't want golf to make you sore for climbing or whatever else it is. You know, that's, the, that's the thing that I find too. You know, I guess you can probably see that I, I, I typically don't put the golf in the right position <laughs> every time I take it back. So I, you know, suffer the consequences of being self-taught and that whole deal. But, um, you know, the, that, that's the important thing is giving yourself sort of that uh, activation of mind. And I do the same thing. I take mine first thing in the morning. And on times when I'm busy, I take another slog. Sometimes in the afternoon, I keep one on my desk. Yeah. But it's that it's that sort of like uh, mindset, you know. And that for me, the Jomo lifestyle of like getting up in the morning, be like, okay, look, I'm going to start out of the gates. I'm going to be, I'm going to give myself the anti-inflammatory agents that I need, the antioxidants that I need, all these joint health inclusions, and I'm going to start my day. I'm going to have it with a big glass of water, you know. I'm gonna, before I have my coffee yeah, and everything exactly. else, and I'm going to get my body to absorb these things that are going to like propel me for the day. So for me, that sort of that piece of it is is ultra important. And then the second thing, and we talked about this, is the, that loading phase, you know. The, the body is typically, you know, uh, relatively toxic because of all the things that we eat now and all the right. environmental factors. So giving yourself that sort of like mother load of, of antioxidants the first week and then getting into sort of a tapered program is, is really a, a great way to run Jolo. Yeah, do you have any specific ways that you prescribe taking or thinking? Because for me, like, I have brain damage from my neck injury. My wife says I have a lot of brain damage. Yeah, likewise. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares what she says. But, uh, but, you know, because of that, because of the brain injury, the TBI that I have from breaking my neck, you know, now I'm on a thyroid pill. So I've never had to take anything in my life, but yeah. now I have all these hormonal issues from my injury. And so that's why I started taking Jomo on an empty stomach, just because yeah. I know I have to take my thyroid pill on an empty stomach. Is there any way that you suggest taking Jomo? Is it need kind of the same thing? So I, I recommend it the same way um, on an empty stomach. And, you know, it started for me with the old products. I didn't like the way that it tasted, but I'd, I'd mix it in, eight, you know, 8 to 12 ounces of alkaline water. So not only would I get all the effects of Jomo, but I'd also, you know, get some alkalinity in my body. Um, but I, now I love the taste so much. I mean, I just, I take it right out of the fridge. Yeah, I take a haul out of it. And, and kind of start my day, um, but I, I do re I do recommend taking it on an empty stomach, and, and I think the morning is the best because it gives you the stuff you need for the day, um, and give you you know give yourself you know 15 20 minutes before you have that cup of coffee or whatever you're gonna have for breakfast. Perfect, cool man. Well, yeah, let's man. see if you can uh, put uh, me down. I had 184 there. Too much talking and not enough warming up. I'm, to, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to, to I'm trying to ice can, you. See if I can get, see if I can get one on plane here I'm first. Trying to cool you off a little bit. See if I, I try to put a little give the fans what they want. <laughs> That one might go a little ways. Well, the bad news is the launch oh, monitor fell asleep. I broke so. the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, now try it again. That's my typical slam shut at the top and just let, <laughs> let it ride. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'll take a few degrees aloft <laughs> off there. Yeah. Whew. 
Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I better bow down. That. You got a foot on me. I don't think I can. I don't think I can hit a seven iron. Leverage is definitely good in this game. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> well, Annie, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming to Telluride, Colorado, to pleasure. hang out at our uh, CQ Golf Ranch, and it was awesome learning more. And I'm I'm excited, man. Yeah. It's been helping my body a lot. And I'm excited yeah, to see yeah. how it helps the rest of our viewers. Well, and I just want to thank everybody. You know, it's it's uh, a little bit of the same way it came into your platform. You know, obviously you have a sea of choices out there and, uh, you know, we feel really honored and privileged that you guys who have made the choice to go with Jomo have come with us and, you know, we'll stand by you whatever you need. If you don't love the product, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out. So let us know how we can care for you. Awesome, man. Thanks so much. No problem. Thank you.